It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. That I'm Michael Che. I'm, <laughs> I'm Colin Jost. Well, well, this week we said goodbye to a former first lady, a former secretary of state, and the Supreme Court's first female justice, and also a guy who claims to be all three of those things. <laughs> former Representative George Santos, seen here swallowing evidence, was expelled from Congress on Friday by a vote of 114 Shantae you stays <laughs> to 311 sachet away. Melania Trump made a rare public appearance when she attended the funeral of former First Lady Rosalind Carter, who died at the age of 96. Melania said that she was deeply saddened to be reminded that your partner can live that long. <laughs> Elon Musk met with Benjamin Netanyahu this week and agreed that Israel must destroy Hamas. And I think Musk could destroy Hamas almost instantly by becoming their CEO. <laughs> During an interview, Elon Musk, who looked like the ghost of a guy who died in a 1950s drag race, <laughs> was, a was asked if he was anti-Semitic and said that he was, in fact, philo-Semitic. You know, another answer would be no. <laughs> First Lady Jill Biden also unveiled a new ice rink near the White House, setting the stage for next week's headline, President Shatters Pelvis on Ice Rink. <laughs> In her new book, Liz Cheney claims that one Republican called Donald Trump Orange Jesus. But it's like you always say, Colin, there's only one Jesus and he's white. <laughs> You know how you always say yeah, that? Yeah, I always say that. <laughs> I was in confidence. Disney, Disney announced that they'll be making two more sequels to Frozen. But by the time they come out, the only thing Frozen will be Elsa's eggs. <laughs> she wants a career. What? <laughs> Merriam-Webster announced that one of the site's most looked up words of 2023 was Riz which is slang for charisma. But if you have to look it up, bitch, you ain't got it. One of the founders of the Black Lives Matter movement announced that he is supporting Donald Trump for president. And I'm gonna assume he announced it during a traffic stop. <laughs> <laughs> Australia is moving to ban disposable nicotine vapes as more and more countries take efforts to reduce child addiction. Here to comment on vaping is an old-fashioned cigarette. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, Colin. Hey, it's great to meet you, cigarette. Meet me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, now they're on TV. We've never met before. My butt's been in your mouth like a million times. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't smoke. <laughs> oh, what are your parents watching tonight? All right, I'll play along. <laughs> well, thank you for coming, uh, Old Fashioned Cigarette. How are you doing? Colin, I've been better. It ain't easy being a cigarette these days. Everyone wants to vape. Ooh, let's vape. Can I hit your vape? And now look, the children are dead. <laughs> Great job, guys. Vapes are so much better. <laughs> That's not what's happening. Also, you're not so innocent yourself. I mean, before vapes, kids definitely smoked cigarettes. True but they looked cool doing it, <laughs> so it was fine. You ever seen a kid vape? They don't even do it with confidence, blowing it down their little shirts. Storks? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, the cigarettes are still bad, though. You know in London, they don't even have a cool nickname for vapes? You know what they call a cigarette in London? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Say it. I'm not going to say it. Relax. No one's going to take it out of context and make it a meme. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it sounds like you're not a fan of vapes. So what do you think about Australia and other countries trying to ban them? Welcome to the show, vapes. First time. They used to love me, too. Now they're trying to make me go the way of the dodo. 
but it'll never work. I'm too good. You know how good smoking a cigarette is? Cigarettes are so good, we're dessert for sex. <laughs> hey, that sex was good, but you know what I want right now? Me, baby. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, how do you think you've been able to stick around this long? I'm cool. <laughs> and you're cool if you smoke me. NBC Pride doesn't want me saying this directly to kids, but smoking makes you skinny and popular. <laughs> and for guys, it adds a couple inches. <laughs> Cigarette, come on. I know, I know I'm bad, but God, I look good. Can't say the same for vapes. Like, look at these studs on, on Team Cigarette. Oh, yeah, Marlon Brando. Cool yeah. guy number one in my day. Who else? Oh, Elizabeth Taylor. She's, she's cool, too. She's like Marlon Brando, but girl, keep it going. <laughs> Ron Jeremy? <laughs> Your hero. <laughs> See, I told you it added a few inches. OK. <laughs> Isn't Ron Jeremy in prison for something horrible? Oh, well, not him then. <laughs> Still though, Taylor and Brando, not bad. Now look who they've got on Team Vape. <laughs> Just saying. Vapes didn't even exist back then. Oh, okay, defend him. <laughs> I'm not defending. All right, you know what, no more pictures. One more picture. No more pictures. It'll be good this time, one more. All right, fine, one more. <laughs> the same picture. I'm a cigarette. I'm a bad boy. Old-fashioned cigarette, everyone. Find me in your mom's purse. <laughs> next week, <laughs> next week, Lifetime will add their first... <laughs> Next week, Lifetime will air their first Christmas movie featuring a sex scene. The sex scene will finally explain why Santa named that one reindeer Vixen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird name for a reindeer, man. A Disneyland guest was arrested for stripping off his clothes and walking around nude on It's a Small World, which is the all-time worst answer to the question, so what are you in for? <laughs> A new study finds that your risk of developing diabetes depends on how fast you walk and whether this sound plays while you're walking. <laughs> A new report claims that recent stories on the Sports Illustrated website were actually generated by AI, and it's already making delirious mistakes for for instance, it made up something called the WNBA. <laughs> I know, I don't even know what that stands for. <laughs> Dorito, Doritos has created a new software called Doritos Silent, which removes the sound of eating from video calls. Not to be outdone, Taco Bell is working on new software that removes the sound of screaming from bathrooms. <laughs> This week, sky gazers were treated to the beaver moon, which is only visible for a few seconds when the moon gets out of the shower. <laughs> and I, I like this so far. <laughs> and plans for a three-year-long around-the-world cruise were canceled after organizers could not find a ship for the voyage. Guys, call me. <laughs> Well, we can't update. I'm Colin Jones. I'm Michael Chase. Good night.